jalo ka hana ya Afrika borwa ile bani le ho tla kena di ghetong tsa naha le mong se hodimo go ntse go isohla ke gore di ghetho tsena di tlo pethwa mo hlaneng ka ha la di ghetho le so phatlalatswe komishini e ikemetseng ya di ghetho ya Afrika borwa ya IEC ile ya phatlalatsa maemo a yona a tshebetso ho itukiseletseng ho tla kena di ghetong tsa di province mo ho letsa naha mo e boletseng ha tsohle di le motsheng wa tshebetso ho tla dumela di milione tsa ma Afrika borwa go etseng di ghetho tsa bona tsa puso ya ISAO ditseng tse fetang di ketetse makgolo ba bedi ka palo ho phatlalala le naha komishini e ikemetseng ya di ghetho ya IEC ile ya phatlalatsa maemo a yona a tshebetso ho itukiseletseng ho tla kena di ghethong tsa di province le tsa naha mo e boletseng ha tsohle di le motsheng wa tshebetso ho tla dumela di milione tsa ma Afrika borwa go etseng ghetho tsa bona tsa puso ya ISA ho ditseng tse fetang tse di ketetse makgolo ma bedi ka palo ho phatlalala le naha dibello ne be pha me hore commission e tlo phatlalatsa letsa tsila di ghetho mo hlangeneng e bitsitse seboka sa bora ditaba se itseng sa kalaga estate e midrent go di nyam phalane wa hola ngole mo wa ho phatlalatsa moralo wa tshebetso pethatso nya di ghetho fela letsa tsileo hale a kala phatlalatsa polelong ya gore commission e sa litile mo president wa na eleng sira ra maphosa go nkeng qeto hore di ghetho di tlo pethwa mo hlaneng ho patlalatse moralo wa tshebetso ya dikgetho modula stulo wa commission e ikemetse ya dikgetho ya Afrika borwa e leng mo commissioner Ramos Soto Moyepa o boletse ha pethatso ya dikgetho ma Afrika borwa atlamile ho keteka le motse mashume a mararo tsa tokolloho le democracy ya naha ya Afrika borwa ka ha ba tsepamisitse tshebetso ya bona menya bokezong le katlehong eo naha e fitileng ho yona ho tswa ka tlasa puso ya gatello we we recounted how far we have come. We recalled that our democracy is a very young one. If it was a baby, that baby would be 30 years old next year. By far, that in democratic terms is very, very young. But we as South Africa have many reasons to celebrate where we have come and how far we have come. The world considers us as one of the topest performing democracies around the world. They say we are, we are in the cream of the crop and rate us in the top 11% um, of the countries that are doing well in democracy worldwide. On average, we punch above the weight even in developed countries. And that is not something we say because we want to be complacent. We say because we celebrate our journey, but we know that our journey is incomplete. And that 2024 offers us an opportunity to continue to write the record books even well. We have a beautiful country. And when we do elections, every one of us has a duty we need to take. Moyepe o bolela hore le ha katleho ya democracy ya na ha itlamile ho ananelwa. Sebo le kelello di teng tsa gore le eto la tukolloho ga le so pheta ha le ka ha di lotsa sechaba di ipona ha tsa ka mehla mme go boleleng seo. O go thalleditse ba gaiti go tsweng ka magalo le go ya taka ghetho tsa bona molemong wa ho tshadimela pheto ho bo ka mosong ba na ha le sechabeng ka kakaretso. We from the commission will will undertake our roles and responsibility without fear, without favor, without prejudice. We will not be complacent. We will compete against ourselves. We will do better than where we were. That's our pledge. But we challenge South Africans to say, wherever you are, do your best. Your country needs you. Own your democracy. Don't outsource it to someone else. This is where we are going. Make this the best country we can be and people can live. Choose. Be free to make your choice. And we um, will offer you that opportunity to know that your choice is secure with us. We'll run these elections transparently. It, we will ensure it is credible. We will spare no measure in ensuring 
its integrity. Ho botseng ho re na a ka ba le tsebo ka hore letsatsi la dikgetho le tlwe ba neng. Moepe o hlalusitse le hore fa se ke pele sa gore. Puso ya jwa le matleng ho fitlela go dinya motsiano monongwa ha mme ho feleng ha nako eo. Mola o theo wana ha o dumella gore dikgetho tsa puso e hlahlamang eo. Di tlamele ho phethwa na konya bo hare ba matsatsi a mashube a robong ka morao ha ho phethahala ha tema ya puso ya pele. Mwe pe o buletse ha di kgetho di ka phethwa pakeng tsa go dia motsiano le a phato le mongse hudimo. Mo commissioner mwe pe o buetsa go thalletsa mega ya sepolotiki ho keneng di kgethong ka ho phepetsa moya wa gotso le gutso se chabeng le go hlompha melao e teng mo lautheng wa na ha phethatso nya di kgetho mo a ipileditseng hore le matsholo a o hokela ba gethi a phethwe ka ho hloka le eme. I wish I could give you a scoop but it's going to be sometime between October between um, May and August it is so because our constitution is clear that when the term expires um, an election must be held within 90 days of that term this term will expire around the 20 the 21st of of May an election must evidently take place any time from the 22nd to around, I think it's the 19th or thereabouts of August. And we know for sure that in that time an election will be held. Ho kopanyeng le nswele mekhaya se politiki ma ikutlo ibile a fapaneng. Mo ba itapele ba mekhaya se politiki ba buletse nka ho sa tswane nka di taba tabelo le ma ikutlo awona peta hatso nye di kheto. Mweta pili wa Mohawa Democratic Alliance Link John Steen Hazen. Obolete haba tabiete liho ananela kwa panelo ya tebeto pake nza mekhaya khanyeto. Mwa wa asha lusite nhatima ina. Itilo netefata peta hazo ya petulelo keta pili nyana ha. Mwa wa lese chava si khotale di tenhonka karolo di ketong. This election is going to be the most competitive election in 30 years. Uh, there's a real path to victory now through the multi-party charter which shows the way to change the government and bring in place a new government that's going to start delivering to the people of South Africa and that's going to put the people ahead of the politicians. And I think that's something to be hopeful for. The multi-party charter has now come together around a common set of principles, objectives. We now need South Africans to come to the table as well. Change isn't going to happen you know, by accident. It's an act of the will. And it means that people need to, to register. There's about uh, 13 million uh, young people that are not registered to vote. They need to come out and register because every vote is going to count in this election. And it's going to be very important that young people particularly are involved in this election. It's going to be the most important one since 1994. <laughs> Running a, a campaign called Power to the Registered with a website, with an app, with uh, assistance to people to register. We're doing surgeries. We obviously realize that getting people registered is a very clear path to being able to form a majority. The ANC got just around 5.2 million votes in the last election. There are 14 million people who didn't vote. There are 13.6 million people who aren't registered. If just 10% of those groups of people come out and participate, we can have a new government overnight and I think that will be a great thing for South Africa. Dula stulo wa na hawa moha wa Action SA ling Michael Pumont. Obolete haba amohela patala atso ya peta atso ya di kheto huzwa komishni nya IEC. Le hajwa le musebezi usalete mecha ho kutalete nse chaba hunke nkarolo di kheto hong. Positive uh, message emanating from the IEC and the IEC declaring that they are ready to host these elections. I think from our point of view we might have wanted a bit more meat in terms of their readiness. We know the last election had serious issues about ballot papers and election management devices that weren't working, but we will take that up at the PLC level. From our point of view though, you know, it's the role now for political parties. The IEC has a basic framework that they have to provide, but it is political parties that need to connect with the South African people and provide a message and a belief that get them out to register to vote in very large numbers. And from an Action SA standpoint, we believe we have a particular role to play in that regard. 
You know, we have so many people who've given up on the political establishment. It's not the political establishment that's going to get those people to come out and register. It's people like us. Mo presidente wa moha wa inkata Freedom Party ileng velengo sini shabisa. Obulazi haba amuhela patala zo ena leha fela moha wabona. Ule malala la uzi hutla genadi retong leo kutaleza si chaba. Kui ngodi se zengdi retong zena. Sifunu kutaza bantu bagi iti laba abanga palisi ile aba 13 million eni ngizimne Afrika. Aba palisi ilu kufoda. Bese kuti laba ba u 14 million. Asebe pelele umdanda wogu vota ngoba beti. Gusizani wogu vota ngoba. We are fine. Kuno kebengu, asisebenzi. The load shading in Kotagalo is it as Lulu Uma Abantubagi to Beng a Zugu Ugo Palisa Ugu Vota, Futibeng a Zogu Ugo Vota, Mobeng and Nil Segile, Guzo Shalagun Jem, Beshalabeng and Nil Segile, Mabe Funu Kukugo, City Ukukugo, Uzo Lenza, Ne Votila, Kumunyago Zayo, Jem Oba Senza in nineteen ninety four. Si kipa uhulumenu wa bandu u 2024 Unyaga wa kipa uhulumeni Owe shulaga wa wenza iti ngo Za bandu bagiti Omtaka 28 ku October Ika mle IFP Lizo beli tula umkangaso Obizo nguti gungawe Si tigungawe mvoti Uguba ukukule izinto ndo unyago zayo Ukete uhulumeni Ozo wazo kutangabezi iti ngo zako Uhulumeno petizu letu, wekule gile, emnyagene nga mashuma matatu, wasebenzi inta ya giti, ukebengu, yinte spila nga unsu huzonke, ike mbugele IFP, libo pezela uguba, uhulumeni, owe shugile gulo okona. Ozo talama tubo msebenzi, alwisa nga nukebengu, singenge izi mboni ema zuenanga panje, uguwa bezo chala umnoto, Mo presidente wa moha wa African Transformation Movement ili mvuyole tu zungula. Obulaze ha moha wa ATM osa tabeli hose tsoshe hama ima asa hile zindi kheto nse fitileng. Le hore komishin ya di kheto. Itilo di luki sa juang te wanong li di kheto za silimose hudimu. We know that South Africa has more than 45 million people that are eligible to vote. However, in all of these elections, past two elections, less than, nine, less than 20 people actually go out and vote, meaning elections that we have, you have less than 50% actually determining the fate of the entire country. That is the first issue. The second issue is that you've got ANC aligned SATU teachers that happen to be presiding officers. They provide, preside over all of the electoral processes of the, of the different voting stations. That on its own is something that has shown in the past that they commit a lot of crimes. In their past election there's a teacher that voted for more than 20 times. There is a ballot uh, marked ballot papers that are always found lying around. So in our view, without the IEC actually addressing these key concerns, then it erodes the trust or the credibility of the electoral processes. Look, parties must campaign. We as an organization were campaigning with a simple message that um, you know, public representatives, politicians are servants of the people. Therefore, people must not be viewing um, politicians as if they are celebrities. They must know that they are the ones that put them in power and they must hold them accountable. Now, it is the IEC that needs to deal, for example, with the issue of voter education, that needs to deal with the credibility of the processes. We can't be, go we can't be going to people and saying, no, the electoral processes are fine, whereas there's an institution that is mandated by the Constitution to ensure that it ensures that the, the, the electoral processes are above board. The party must deal with the politics. Parties must deal with the politics and their offerings for the election. IEC must deal with the processes and make sure that people have got confidence. We've got people that are saying they are not going to vote because, um, you know, people that are counting those votes are ANC people. It is IEC that must deal with that perception. And they can't deal with that perception, perception if they do not embark on a vigorous, well-funded voter education program. Haka le shakureng le le ngu mwodi kakare soa mwakawa economic freedom fighter selling Marshall Lamini. Atsa kele se hurimu presidente Cyril Ramaphosa.
a phatlalla tseletsa tsila di kgetho go neheng me gale se chaba monyetla wa itukiseletsa go tla kena di kgethong if the iec and the leadership of the iec they love this country they better make sure that uh, these elections are free and fair now that the iec have launched the election Cyril must give us a date. We are ready to go to elections. This country, it needs a bridge. It needs new leadership. It needs service delivery. It needs a creation of jobs. It needs a, for it to take a drastic steps for the return of land and the economy to be in the hands of our people. So Cyril must not delay, must give us a date so that everyone else can freely go and plan. Because this thing of him delaying on giving us a date, he gives the advantage to the ANC that because the ANC, they know the date. So they've got, uh, we're, we're disadvantaged because if they know the date, we, the entire country doesn't know the date, it means they are continuing with their plans and everything. He must give us a date tomorrow so that all of us, we can be able to, uh, to move in and prepare for elections. The court did not say an electoral system that excludes constituencies is unconstitutional. But more importantly, the court did not change the requirement in section 46 of the constitution that any elections must result in general in proportional representation. Those words were deliberate in the negotiations before 1994 and how they found expression in the, in the constitution because the drafters of the constitution were acutely aware that there is no perfect electoral system and that's why they use the phrase in, in general in proportional representation. In other words, the representation of parties in parliament must resemble the strength of support that those parties have within the voting public. For example, if a party gets 60% support of the voters, its share of seats in a legislative assembly must resemble 60 percent but you can't find perfect proportionality so in some instances it may be 60.5 in certain instances it may be even 58 percent but it must be close to proportionality as is possible leha africa borwa e tukiseletsa go tla kena di ghetong tsa na ga le mongse hodimo le mega ya sepolitiki e teletse go hokela tshehetso ya ba gethi Khangkholo ke hore a na ba kgethi ba e metshehetso le thaselong ya go ba karolo ya dikgetho tsena buisano le ba bang ba ba a hi ka maikemisetso a bona a ho kena dikgetho maikutlo e bile a fapaneng mo ba bang ba ba a hi ba boletseng ha ba le malala la o tse go tla kena dikgetho ha ba bang ba bolela ha ba dula ba kgetha ka mehla empa ho se petho e teng phanong ya ditshebeletso metseng le metsaneng ya bona I think I'm looking for a change. I'm Ziva next. I'm just hoping for better. Nothing in this way. We have some chance to go to the bond to make sure we are now. Hey, look how it goes. Hey, we're going to go to the bond. We're going to go to the bond. Hey, 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 we're going to go to the bond. Kongkesi-esi-esi-tinga-yo-wenze-yo. Uipile di tse huba kheti ho si feli mo ya le tsepo wa hu ya kena di kheto nga atilio patlala za le tzatile di kheto hao finyana. We want more and more people to register. And once they are registered, they can vote for whatever party that they want to. But we as the ANC are confident of a victory. Not only in Gauteng, throughout the country. Now the doomsayers say no, we are not going to, but the ANC always proves people wrong. So I'm absolutely confident that we're going to do well. Le ha mo ya wa ta selo ya di kheto o fukela fatse. Muso tsebedisa no mo ho le mega ya se politiki o ye mentsweng le leng la o khuthalletsa ba kgethi go ya sebedisa monyetla wa bona wa hutlisa di petogo isa unyana ya Afrika borwa ka go yanka karolo di ghetong.
ditabeng tsa Soweto TV ke manini morolo